I'm George W. Bush, and I appreciate you. In fact, I think it is awesome. I've been waiting to play this particular uh, um, thing that was sent to me by a listener and also a client as well uh, that is dealing with a credit card company. Uh, for everybody that's listening and you're calling or you're speaking to me and you're a listener of the show that listens to my whole uh, story to you when I individually talk to you, I said the number one complaint I get out of people that have always disputed the credit cards legally, whether it's in court, whether it's their own way of doing however they're doing, even if they're settling, the number one complaint I get is the, the phone calls because it absolutely drives people up the wall. The only reason they're calling is to look for the information out of you to determine what you have, where you live, who your friends are, and everything else like that, and determine what you're going to do. It's basically they're listing information out of you to assess whether or not they're going to sue you. That is why they're talking to you. They don't need to talk to you uh, unless you, the supposed customer who works for these banks, uh, has an issue or you want to uh, make arrangements to do payments or whatever. But the, many years ago, this did not used to be like what you're about to hear. This is a, this is a unique situation that was sent to me. And here you are out there trying to do the right thing, supposedly. So you're going to call and negotiate with the bank. And you're going to tell them, listen, uh, this is what's going on. How can I make this work out and make it a win-win strategy? Well, you're going to find out they don't want win-win strategies. They just want it their way. So this is uh, uh, a recording from somebody that sent to me uh, talking on the phone with the bank. Listen to this. Quality assurance purposes. Your call is very important to us. Please hold and the next available representative will assist you. Thank you for going. Go on, what is this? This is Veronica. Can I get your phone number, please? Certainly. It's 01. And your name? Is Richard. And your address, please? Costa Mesa, California. And your telephone number, please? And I'm sorry, my what? Telephone number? 678. I do need to advise you that this phone may be monitored or reported for quality assurance and accuracy purposes, and also it is on a sense to collect that any information obtained will be used for that purpose only. Okay, and you're being recorded as well. I do need to advise you that you cannot record the call. Oh, I see. You can record me, but I can't record you. Is that correct? I just have that note on here, on your account. You have a note on my account that says I can't record you? Yeah. Well, why would you do that? I didn't do it. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi, my name is Brad. What can I do for this evening? What can I do? Well, I simply uh, called up to uh, uh, talk about my client expenses. Okay. Uh, I called, I initially had a letter when uh, we couldn't make our payment last month, and I called immediately. And I was told I should put together some financial numbers and so on, and that I should call back. Um, and I guess there was a problem. Uh, I, I'm simply recording so that I can keep track of everything we talk about. It's, uh, okay. I, I would have to advise you, though, that I can take this call if you're, if you're wanting to record the call, okay? Well, why is it that uh, you can record me, but I can't record you? That's, that's kind of strange, isn't it? Hello? Oh, I'm still here, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean you, you announced about five times that's going to be recorded, and, and, you know, this conversation might be 20 minutes. I, I can't remember everything we talked about, and nobody takes that bit of notes. So, I'm, you know, I have a recording studio, so I'm recording it. With, with, I apologize, but I would not be able to take this call if you continue to record. Okay, I do not give you permission to record this conversation. Wow. So, what do I have to do? Do uh, you turn yours off and I turn mine off? Is that what we do? No, sir. We'll continue to record for security protection. I see. So you can you can turn uh, make me turn it off, but you won't turn it off. Is that correct? That's correct. Wow. You don't think There's that's a little no strange? To the recording, it, it it records every call. So. Man. Wow. That's. Uh, Would you like to continue the conversation, sir? Yeah, but I'm going to record it. I mean, you know, especially now. I mean, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I will advise you that I will not take this call because I do not give you permission to record. So I will have to go ahead and end the call. Okay. 
<laughs> there you go. There, there it was, Bob. Excellent, excellent. Great entertainment. I think uh, people love that little segment. They should uh, take it and email it to all their friends. You know, oh, absolutely. It. This is like, now, I don't understand this. This is a guy uh, who sent this to me, and, and I've always told people, I said, look, at your, your bank rules, they want you to work for them. So they want a win-win strategy. They're going to do anything they can to keep the money rolling to them. But you got to get on the phone. This guy says, well, you know, it's a complicated situation. He had multiple accounts. He had his well, mortgage was an issue. He couldn't take you know, like 4,000 notes. He didn't want to make any mistakes, of course. He figured, why not? Where well, this is like a public uh, negotiation. I have nothing to hide. So here I am. I'm going to put it out here. And then you know what happens? That's what happens. Yeah, not a public negotiation. There's no negotiating the public space. Public space is created by... What? I don't know what you call it, the Android meme, it cre it's them, they created. So this is a great uh, registration, this call, of a human, be a chemical body waking up to the 21st century, or at least in the 20th century. This, this is the birth. This is a Iowa trip for that guy, for Richard. The yeah. He, they found out that it's nothing to do, he doesn't live in the United States. And he's not even a citizen. He's nothing, only for tax purposes. He's that, and if he agrees to that, he's a victim. It's silly. But it's exciting, James. It means that we can do whatever we want. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. There's no, so I... much freedom, potential freedom. So, uh... I think that's, uh, again, you know, that you had that advertising guy a month ago saying, excerpt from his speech, these things you offer, they, they should be played on your show regularly, just as a, as a intro to in that. They are, oh. play them instead of music. Yeah, they have to play these record, these recorded calls of the bank saying, we don't want to talk to you, we don't want to talk to you, we, we can record you, but for security, they, they, they say they were doing it for security and quality control. <laughs> They're going, they're going to change that policy, just like they credit the, the uh, collection agency had to change their policy. They now act like saints to the potential customers. Right, and they'll then, ask you how you feel, you get a fruit, free fruit basket if you comply, and everything else probably. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to change because uh, they don't have anything going for them at all. I mean, do you know of any banks that are operating now? According no. to defined define definitions of what a bank does? No. That's right. That's right. Nobody's doing Fine anything. With it. Yeah, on that level, right, there is none that are working. I mean, you can have the president on May 13th or so say there is no money and it has no effect. You see, there, there is a lot of money, but it ain't yours, it ain't anybody's, but it is there for some who can get the subway to work and sit in the desk and is allowed to sit there. He can claim he's got money, but he can't buy anything with it that won't kill him. <laughs> so, <what's it? laughs> Scotty, beat me up.